Hi folks, welcome to another Naughty Control video. In this episode we are looking at controlling our Naughty Control box using a smartwatch. So a couple of examples here, TicWatch and a Huawei um, something or another. Uh, these are quite cheap. Um, you can go onto eBay as long as they're, I'll send, send a link down below for all the details um, where you can buy these, but you can get them second hand. These here ones cheap on eBay. Uh, I think I paid about 25 quid, 30 quid for these two. Um, so they just connect over Bluetooth uh, to the existing ST wireless box. So you've probably seen the other videos if you're watching this here. Uh, you may already have one. Um, so this is just a firmware upgrade to this here. These boxes come with Bluetooth built in and just haven't been developed. Um, so now I've opened up the, the these two Bluetooth commands. There's two sides to this. There's the, the controlling it, which I'll show in a minute, and um, which actually allows us to control the autopilot. So basically port tack, you know, plus minus all the rest. Um, it also shows allows us to bring the data from your CTOC bus. So if you've got an old ST60 type thing, or even if you've got something more advanced where you've, you know, bringing data in across the uh, NEMA uh, TCP IP interface, um, you'll be able to display all that on your watch now. So what it does is whenever you get a value change, it automatically sends a notification to your watch and it'll update live. Uh, so there's no polling like the web one, so it's a lot, a lot better. I um, hope to do another Android app in the future, um, which basically do the same thing only bigger. Um, but for now, this is just on Android OS. Um, this is on the App Store. It's in testing in the minute, so it's sort of private. What I'll do is I'll stick a link down below. Uh, it's open for everybody though, but as long as you have the link, you can go on and download it. Um, the source code's in GitHub as well. It's written in uh, .NET 8 um, and just uses the Android wrapper for that there. So yeah, it works quite well. I'm used to it, that's my day job. So um, what we'll do now is we'll give it a quick demo. So we have our test bench set running. I've got the emulator set up now, um, probably seen it before one of the other videos, so that just emulates CTOC. Um, so it kind of uses the same interface, but sends out some dummy data. As you can see, the autopilot's got 55 heading. Uh, we've got the wind speed, wind direction, feet and all the rest, boat speed, uh, all going there. So basically what we want to do is show now that this all this information is coming through here. So what we'll do is we'll hit the start scan. We can actually do this in both. You can actually run more than one. So as you'll see, uh, both these phones have got the Naughty Control Wireless found. And then we go to the main menu. So if I go to AP Remote, we'll go to AP Remote in both of them. So what I can do is now I can, in this one, uh, auto. So we do that, it's actually now in auto mode. And I go to the other one, I can actually change it. So you can kind of see, I've got two Bluetooth devices and I'm changing the, the thing. Now I can change it to standby, I can change it to auto here. So that's pretty cool. So all your controls are there. So all the ones I've shown in the other videos, so like start timer, cancel MOB, MOB, wind mode, track, standby, auto, uh, stick on standby, starboard tack, port tack. Useful if you're on your own, if you want to tack the boat and work out your sails. And um, that's kind of the reason I have it. And I always forget the remote. So having this on the arm is bloody useful. Um, so yeah. So if we go back to the main menu. Oh. Sorry, a wee bit fiddly. So if we go to data display, data display. So what this is now going to show us is the data. So yep, yeah, so wind angle, wind speed, so 11, 20 knots, depth, uh, 1.21 meters, speed over ground, six knots, speed over three water, five knots, course over ground, 56, heading 55. So that's all our data coming through now. So we are in business. So that's basically, replicating everything so all my data that's on my boat uh, or in my CTO bus I can get it through on the watch uh, and then I just click back if I want to control the remote and I've got this here and I go back to data display and then I can go down and see speed course over ground and all the rest and get all that information very quickly um, and as I say one person can actually be so I could be on the boat with my remote control so I can do uh, auto uh, but the other person still can view the data so there's a lot going on uh, but it works great over Bluetooth so you can have a couple of devices the hope is as well that you'll be able to get your Android phone or Apple phone or whatever and get them all in um, yep yeah, so that's that quick demonstration okay 
So hopefully that was a good demonstration. It was a bit quick, but yeah, it does what it needs to do. Um, for me, the, the, this will be quite useful. I can never get the, the buttons right. Uh, if I don't have enough buttons or I don't have the remote on me, but when I, if I've got this on my arm, then being able to tack and then go and do the ropes quite quickly. Um, if I was out on my own, um, make this invaluable. Um, it's just a firmware update for anybody that's got it. So if you want to go out and check the, it should be on the link down below, but it'll be the 2.04 upwards. We'll have this Bluetooth capabilities. Um, for those that are interested, the source code for the, this is on the, the GitHub. Uh, it's on the Naughty Control GitHub. Uh, but I'll stick a link down below where you can just go and download it. It's currently in beta. And uh, so I don't have it public or anything like that there, but you can go on and, and download it for free at the moment on there. Um, and give us some feedback and test it and all the rest. It's pretty easy to use, just scan, pick up the naughty control, click it, and then you've got the menu options and the rest as, as per the demo. Um, there's a couple of other bug fixes, uh, a couple of minor things, just where things weren't the right way around and mappings and stuff like that there. I've also added a new feature. Uh, it was been requested for adding, uh, be able to enter in your own password. So that's in the setup, so you can go in now and uh, whenever, if you're not using DHCP or something like that, you can go in and set up your your own Wi-Fi access point password rather than the default one. So if you just wanted to be a bit more secure. Um, the Bluetooth code and all the rest, if anybody's interested in that there, will be on the mobile stuff. So you'll be able to see the characteristics and maybe do something of your own. The plan is to do an Android app in the future and basically emulate this here in a sort of larger scale uh, on a phone like this here. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, as I say, all the details will be down below. Um, if you visit naughtycontrol.com, uh, which will be linked down below, you'll get all the how to buy it or how to go onto GitHub and make it yourself. It's all open source. It's all good. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Catch us all soon. Cheers. Bye.